What's going on, y'all? Yesterday, I had about three hours to go out and do some fishing, so I wanted to check on some transitioning patterns to see where the trout, redfish, flounder uh, were all moving into and, uh, and just see where we were with those stages. And uh, I absolutely had an awesome day on the water. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get into that episode. But before we do that, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. We put out content all the time. And to make sure y'all get to see that content, hit that subscribe button. So started our fishing trip out. Uh, I launched my kayak. I went to the first spot. I saw a lot of mullet working around in the area and it just looked like an awesome place to try to hook up on some trout or flounder. And uh, on my very first cast, I caught this fish. School of mullet. Got a school of mullet pushing through right there. Might be something in that area. There he is. That's a decent feeling fish. Flounder. Boom, I mean, he nailed it too. I mean, come on. Y'all, that little guy absolutely wanted that jerk shed. And I mean, I don't have a board on me. I know he's legal, but not by much. Probably 13, 13 and a half inches. Go ahead and let him swim off, see another day. And uh, man, that was quick. That didn't take long at all. So after I caught that flounder, I worked that grass line a little bit more and I didn't see uh, a, a lot of activity going on, didn't catch any fish. So I decided that I was gonna push south, check on the rock jetties. I figured there would be some flounder down there. So I headed down to the rock jetties. There he is, fish on. That feels like a decent one. Golly, that didn't take long. First cast up against the rocks. Feels like a good trout. Nope, a little red. I see you, Mr. Redfish. Hopefully one of many. I'm sure we'll catch some redfish that'll get a little bit bigger than this one. See ya. After I caught this redfish, uh, I, as I moved around these rock jetties, I noticed that uh, the water was very, very dirty. They were dredging on the inside of a canal in there and it was dumping a lot of mud out. And the water clarity back north looked really, really good. So I decided to abort that mission, head back north. And, uh, and when I did, I went off in this creek right here. And if you want to know where all these fishing spots are, be sure to check out our Patreon because we're putting out a video right now on a Google Earth overlay of this trip and where each fish was caught. So be sure to go to Patreon and check that out. But we got to this creek right here and the trout were just stacked in here so thick that, uh, that it, it was just, it was crazy. Good current flowing through this little creek right here. So, kind of expect to hook up on something. We'll see. That and then throwing up in that shade right there. That's a little bit cooler water temperatures. We'll see about that too.
There he is. Good trail. Come on, come on. Come on, looking for the boat flip. Oh, that's a decent trout, y'all. Boom, back guy. Chill, 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 chill. Oh, I should have netted you. All right, all right, we're gonna release you, buddy. We're gonna release you. Yeah, I figured we'd find fish in this creek. I mean, I just saw a little bit more water movement in here than I did anywhere else, which told me that chance of there being good quality fish in there is pretty good, which this trout had a few that were traveling with her. I mean, that is a, a good 18, 19 inch trout right there. Fat, yeah, beautiful fish. See you, buddy. Fish on. They don't feel too good. Another small one. Smallest one of the morning. Golly. Boom. See ya. Good fish. At least he hit like a freaking train. Not that good, but he did hit good. This guy might barely be 14 inches. Maybe. Fish on. Y'all, they are just stacked in this creek. I mean, it's... And they're not huge. I had that one good one, but where there's these, I can guarantee you there's bigger ones. Oh, little guy. There he is. Oh, that was a good hit. There, come on, Nate. Y'all, we're just out here throwing the Z-Man Jerk Shed 5-inch in a pearl white on a quarter ounce eye strike uh, trout eyes G head. And uh, I mean, we're variating our retrieves a little bit. We're changing our speeds. We're changing our cadences. Uh, we're, we're, we're doing from a swimming to a jerking. Just trying to get something dialed in. But to be honest with you, where we're at right here, there's just so many fish in this area I, I think that that you know almost doesn't matter um, as long as you put it in, in front of one of their faces they're probably going to eat it but but yeah we're just coming through here and uh, man they're just thick they're really really thick right here what is that three or four trout in the boat on a, you know pretty short little stretch Good fish. Come on. Come on. Come on. Be a trout. It's right on the edge of that grass, so I think it might be a red. It is a red. Oh man. I knew it when he, when he thumped it right on the edge of that grass, I thought, there's no way that's a trout. But We'll take it. We will freaking take it. Y'all, this freaking creek right here is absolutely loaded with fish today. And I've never really stopped and took the time to fish this creek. It just didn't look very productive. And uh, I think I'll be fishing it a lot more um, from now on. Come on, buddy. Come on, he ain't that big. But when you're fighting them on 10 pound test, they all have a tendency to pull a little bit. Oh. I mean, this is a beautiful redfish, y'all. Look out of you, get back in the water.
All right, y'all, so that pretty much rounded out our trip right there. That was three hours. Uh, I believe we caught four or five trout, two redfish, and a flounder. Um, and it was just a, a basically an experimental trip to try to see where these fish are moving in at and, and really what's going on with these cold fronts that we've had. Uh, but I hope y'all liked this episode. If you did, hit that like button, comment with any questions, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time.